In the journey of life, we encounter the opportunity to reflect on our experiences and consciously choose the burdens we carry with us. Approaching the conclusion of this chapter called 2023, it is wise to consider releasing certain baggage to pave the way for a 2024 filled with happiness and personal growth. As we free ourselves from these burdens, we create space for authenticity, joy, and personal advancement. By bidding farewell to what no longer serves us, we welcome a new year with the willingness to live more fully and consciously. At times, we face the difficulty of identifying which aspects of our lives need transformation and where to begin. While the desire for self-improvement is present, the lack of knowledge about the process can be overwhelming. If you find yourself at this crossroads, do not worry, as today I will provide you with a step-by-step -step guide. This way, you can start the new year of 2024 as a renewed version of yourself, heading towards the personal growth you desire so much. Before delving into this reflective journey, I invite you to subscribe and like if this is the first time you come across one of my videos. This action will not only support my channel but also contribute to YouTube recommending it to those, like you, seeking to improve their lives. Let's be supportive and reach out so that others can also find this beacon of wisdom. Now, with these thoughts shared, let's dive into the first step of this journey towards transformation. 1. Fear of Failure Imagine that at some point, you took the plunge to learn how to ride a bike. Do you remember that mix of nervousness and excitement? Initially, your legs trembled, and your hands gripped the handlebars tightly. Inevitably, you experienced falls and scrapes. But did that stop you? No, because you understood that momentary failure was the price of learning to balance on two wheels. Just like those bike riding days, life presents us with challenges that often immerse us in the fear of failure. But what if I told you that failure is nothing more than a companion on the journey to knowledge? Instead of seeing it as an insurmountable obstacle, we should embrace it as an opportunity to grow. Consider the art of learning to walk. When we were small, we fell over and over again before mastering that seemingly simple step. Those falls weren't failures but lessons that taught us about balance and perseverance. Similarly, in adult life, each stumble provides valuable lessons. Now, close your eyes and think of a moment when the fear of failure paralyzed you. It could have been a work project, an attempt to learn something new, or even a relationship that didn't turn out as expected. But what if you changed your perspective and regarded those moments as opportunities to grow and improve? Remember that mistakes do not define your worth or ability. Instead of condemning yourself for them, view them as maps guiding you toward success. There is always a valuable lesson in every stumble, a gem of wisdom that brings you one step closer to your goals. Imagine a painter facing a blank canvas. Each brushstroke may not be perfect, but each contributes to the final masterpiece. Similarly, your efforts and even your mistakes contribute to the masterpiece that is your life. Don't be afraid to stain the canvas because each blemish is an opportunity to create something more beautiful. In the grand book of life, the chapter of failure is not the end of the story but a palette of colors enriching the journey. Embrace the possibility of making mistakes, of falling and rising again because it is through those moments that you become stronger, wiser, and more capable of facing the challenges that tomorrow will bring. 2. Destructive Habits Imagine that you have once found yourself in a dark room. Initially, the dimness may seem comfortable, even familiar. However, if you stay too long, that darkness begins to affect your perception and well-being. This is how destructive habits function in our lives. Each of us carries a flashlight that illuminates our daily choices. Sometimes, for the sake of convenience or routine, we allow that light to fade, and we cling to habits that, though familiar, plunge us into the shadows of physical, mental, or emotional health. Consider those moments when you turn to stress as an automatic response. Perhaps it's the impulse to light a cigarette, indulge in excess comfort food, or fall into procrastination when responsibilities pile up. These are destructive habits that, while initially providing temporary relief, ultimately dim your long-term well-being. 
Now, reflect on those habits that you know harm you. It could be a lack of regular exercise, excessive use of social media, or the tendency to postpone your goals. What if you committed to setting aside those shadows and allowed the light of health and happiness to guide you? Eliminating destructive habits is not just about abandoning negative patterns but replacing them with healthier and constructive choices. Like the transition from darkness to light, this process may take time and effort, but every small step counts. Imagine that each day is an opportunity to recharge that inner flashlight and step a bit further away from the shadow of destructive habits. Adopt practices that nourish your body, mind, and emotions. Incorporate physical exercises that energize you, dedicate time to activities you are passionate about, and cultivate relationships that strengthen rather than weaken you. Remember, changing habits is not an act of deprivation but of liberation. By freeing yourself from patterns that harm your well-being, you open yourself to a world of possibilities and personal growth. Focus on the light that guides your daily choices and discover how each step forward brings you closer to a fuller and healthier life. 3. Unnecessary Debts Imagine, at some point, finding yourself at a financial crossroads. You've acquired a debt that, in hindsight, seems to have slipped into your life without adding real value. It's like carrying an invisible weight that provides no tangible well-being. In this maze of financial commitments, the reflection on unnecessary debts arises, those unwanted shadows that darken the possibility of a freer and fuller tomorrow. Consider that, in many cases, unnecessary debts are like little demons disguised as irresistible opportunities. A quick loan to finance momentary whims, a credit card that becomes the companion of impulsive spending. Initially, these decisions may seem harmless, but as time progresses, the accumulated payments transform into chains that limit your financial freedom. Now, picture yourself breaking free from those chains. Working to eliminate debts that do not significantly contribute to your quality of life is like opening the windows of a closed room. Each additional payment is a breath of fresh air that brings you a little closer to freedom. It's a gradual process, but every effort counts, and with patience and determination, you find yourself getting rid of the shadows that obscured your financial horizon. In this journey towards liberation, you discover that there are debts worth taking. A loan to invest in education or improve your home can be an investment in your future well-being. The key is to discern between debts that build and those that only consume. Every step you take to free yourself from unnecessary financial burdens is an act of empowerment, an affirmation that your long-term well-being deserves more attention than instant gratification. Connecting the dots of this reflection, you understand that your financial freedom is intrinsically linked to the decisions you make today. Imagine a life where your income is not committed to endless payments from the past but available to build your future. By freeing yourself from unnecessary debts, you make room for new opportunities, for dreams that seemed distant, and for a renewed sense of control over your economic destiny. This journey is not just a matter of numbers but of empowerment and self-determination. Every choice you make to rid yourself of unnecessary debts is a step toward a fuller and more balanced life. It is the art of letting go of what doesn't add up, to make room for what truly matters. Thus, gradually, you become the architect of your own financial freedom, building a future where unnecessary debts are just a distant memory on the path to prosperity. 4. Lack of time for yourself. Imagine finding yourself caught in a whirlwind of responsibilities, where the clock ticks mercilessly, and your own needs are pushed to the background. Does it sound familiar? The lack of time for yourself can become a subtle trap, where the demands of daily life overshadow the importance of your own well-being. In that frantic dance of time, closing your eyes and dedicating a few moments to yourself may seem like an unattainable luxury. However, reflect on the following, how can you fulfill all your responsibilities if you neglect yourself? The truth is that self-care is not a whim but a fundamental pillar for maintaining a healthy balance in your life. Think about those moments when you felt overwhelmed, exhausted, or even inundated by external demands. It is in those moments that you need to prioritize time to recharge your energies. 
Imagine that every break you take is like a breath of fresh air that revitalizes your mind, body, and spirit. Self-care is not just about taking relaxing baths or enjoying your favorite hobbies, although these are important too. It is rather a reminder that you deserve to dedicate time to activities that nurture your being, connect you with yourself, and help you maintain balance amid the daily chaos. Consider that every minute invested in your well-being is an investment in your ability to face challenges with clarity and calmness. Prioritize those conscious pauses, whether it's practicing meditation, taking a leisurely walk, or simply enjoying a good book. These small actions will not only help you maintain a healthy balance but also enhance your ability to be more effective in your responsibilities. Remember, it's not about finding time but prioritizing it. By making self-care an integral part of your routine, you give yourself the opportunity to face life with renewed energy and resilience. So, amid daily obligations, allow yourself the indulgence of taking care of yourself because, in doing so, you become the best version of yourself for both you and those around you. 5. Constant Complaints Imagine that, at some point in your life, you find yourself trapped in an endless cycle of complaints. Each day becomes a repetition of grievances about what is wrong, a litany of dissatisfactions that seems to overshadow any glimmer of positivity. Close your eyes and think that, amidst those complaints, there is an opportunity to transform your perspective and redirect your energy towards tangible solutions. This constant murmur of complaints can become a web that wraps around your mind, trapping you in a spiral of negativity. Now, imagine freeing yourself from that weight. Instead of focusing on what isn't working, you decide to shift your attention to seeking solutions. This change in focus is like opening a window in a closed room, suddenly, a gust of fresh air enters, dispelling the oppression. Connecting the dots of this reflection, you understand that constant complaining is like a toxic habit that robs your energy and limits your ability to see beyond difficulties. In this journey toward transformation, you discover the power of positive thinking. It's not about denying problems but facing them with a solution-oriented mindset. Now, picture yourself channeling the energy you use to spend on complaints into concrete actions. Every obstacle becomes an opportunity to learn and grow. By adopting a proactive attitude, you realize that you have the power to influence your reality and overcome challenges. Constant complaining fades in the light of a constructive mindset. In this redirection process, you realize that positive thinking is not just a cliché but a powerful tool to change your reality. By focusing on solutions, you become an architect of your own emotional well-being. Constant complaining ceases to be a burden and becomes a reminder of your ability to find answers even in the face of adversity. Thus, step by step, you find yourself freeing from the chains of constant complaints. It's not about ignoring problems but addressing them with a perspective that fosters growth and resilience. Instead of lamenting what is lacking, you focus on building a path toward positive change. In this journey, you discover that your energy is a valuable resource, and redirecting it toward solutions is the key to unlocking a more hopeful future. 6. Fear of Change In the vast stage of life, the fear of change often presents itself as a dark shadow that clouds our horizons. Imagine a flourishing garden where each flower represents a moment in your life. However, a single seed, harbinger of change, can transform that garden into something even more beautiful. It's like opening a new book, filled with unknown and exciting chapters. This fear rooted in our human nature sometimes paralyzes us, preventing us from embracing change as a constant in the dance of existence. Like a river that flows ceaselessly, life invites us to immerse ourselves in its constantly moving waters. Here, in this constant flow, lies the key to overcoming the fear of change, accepting that change is inevitable. Reflecting on the cyclical nature of life, let's remember the seasons. Spring brings rebirth, summer embraces us with its warm splendor, autumn teaches us to let go, and finally, winter invites us to reflect. Each season is a change, an opportunity to grow and evolve, a reminder that life is a constant flow. Just as the tree trusts that its fallen leaves will fertilize the ground for the rebirth of new branches, 
we must learn to trust that, by embracing change, we are preparing the fertile ground for our own personal growth. It's like a journey where each step, no matter how uncertain, brings us closer to an enriching and full of possibilities destination. In this journey, adaptability becomes our compass. Think of bamboo, flexible and resilient at the same time. Faced with life's storms, it bends its canes but never breaks. Similarly, by embracing the idea that change is an intrinsic part of our journey, we become more flexible, able to bend without breaking, ready to find growth opportunities at every turn of the road. Every experience, no matter how challenging, is a lesson that shapes our story. By understanding that change is not only inevitable but also enriching, we begin to see beyond momentary uncertainties. It's like weaving a colorful tapestry with the threads of our experiences, where each change adds a unique shade to the masterpiece of our existence. Before moving on to point number seven, I invite you to leave a good morning comment. Let's start the day with kindness and camaraderie with the entire community, who, like you, are learning for self-improvement. I'll start, good day to everyone, colleagues. Having said that, let's continue. 7. Constant Comparisons Continuing our journey through the complexities of life, let's reflect on another crucial aspect, the constant comparisons we often weave in our minds. Imagine life as a vast landscape where each path is unique and leads to equally singular destinations. However, in our quest for meaning, we sometimes find ourselves caught in the trap of comparing our path to that of others. It's like being in a dense forest where trees represent different lives intertwining in the same space. One might be tall and majestic, another twisted but resilient. Each tree, like each individual, has grown according to its own pace and unique circumstances. By constantly comparing, we risk losing the essence of our own journey, distracted by the illusion that the grass is always greener on the other side. The rhythm of life is as varied as the waves in the ocean. Observing the sea, we notice that some waves are gentle and calm, while others break with force. So it is with our experiences and achievements. Each has its own flow and natural rhythm. Comparing ourselves to others is like trying to make all the waves follow the same pattern, ignoring the unique beauty of each one. Imagine life as a symphony, where each individual is a unique note in the composition. By constantly comparing, we risk off-keying our own melody, distracted by the seemingly perfect harmony of others. Each of us plays a vital role in this symphony, and it is by embracing our uniqueness that we contribute to the richness of the whole. Instead of comparing, we must learn to appreciate the diversity that enriches our human landscape. Look at a garden, where flowers coexist in harmony, each unfolding its unique beauty. Similarly, by ceasing to compare, we allow each to shine in its own splendor, contributing to the richness of the overall panorama. Stopping comparisons does not imply giving up ambition or personal improvement. It is rather a reminder that progress and success take different forms and times for each individual. Like butterflies emerging from cocoons at different times, each personal transformation is unique and beautiful. By freeing ourselves from the chains of constant comparisons, we can embrace our own rhythm, discovering authenticity and fulfillment in our own journey without the distraction of what others are doing. 8. Unrealistic Expectations Let's now consider the delicate balance between our aspirations and the expectations we impose on ourselves. Imagine life as a blank canvas, ready to be painted with the experiences that each stroke of our existence brings. However, sometimes we find ourselves caught in the fabric of unrealistic expectations, as if we were chasing a perfect image that only exists in our minds. It's like planning a journey with a map where every path seems straight and obstacle-free. However, reality is more like a constantly changing maze, where each turn presents new opportunities and challenges. By embracing the idea that perfection is nothing more than an illusion, we free our minds from the chains of expectations that can only lead to frustration and stress. Life is like a theatrical performance, where each act presents unexpected twists and moments of improvisation. Unrealistic expectations are like an overly rigid script, 
leaving little room for spontaneity and the magic of the moment. By accepting that life does not follow a predetermined script, we free ourselves to enjoy the surprises that each scene offers. The weight of expectations can be compared to carrying a suitcase full of stones. The heavier the load, the harder it is to progress on the journey of life. By freeing ourselves from the need to achieve perfection, we lighten our emotional burden and allow the lightness of being to guide our steps. Life is like a dance, where each movement is unique and valuable. Unrealistic expectations are like trying to choreograph every step before the music starts. By accepting the fluid and changing nature of the dance of life, we allow ourselves to dance with grace even when the steps don't go as planned. Instead of measuring our worth by the gap between our actions and expectations, let's consider the measure of our personal progress. It's like cultivating a garden, where each sprout is a victory in itself. By embracing the reality that perfection is a chimera, we allow ourselves to appreciate the beauty and growth and development, rather than getting stuck in the trap of reaching unattainable expectations. 9. Toxic Relationships in this vast stage of human interactions, toxic relationships resemble shadows that darken the sunlight. Like sailors seeking a safe harbor, we sometimes find ourselves in turbulent waters where certain individuals subtract more than they add to our journey. Removing these negative influences is not an act of selfishness but an act of authenticity and self-care. Relationships can be likened to a garden, where each person is a unique flower. Some flowers bloom radiantly, adding color and vitality, while others may wither the rest with their toxicity. By freeing ourselves from relationships that drain our energy, we allow a healthier and more vibrant garden to flourish, where each flower nourishes one another. Imagine relationships as a dance, where each step should be a harmonious movement. However, toxic relationships are like a disjointed dance, where the steps are painful and the rhythm is discordant. By stepping away from that dissonant dance, we create space to share the floor with those whose dance naturally synchronizes with ours. Our life is like a journey where we seek companions who illuminate our path rather than extinguish our light. Removing those who drag us into darkness is not just a choice but a necessity to preserve our energy and stay focused on the horizon of our goals. Think of relationships as a puzzle, where each piece uniquely fits to form a complete picture. However, toxic relationships are like pieces that don't fit, creating an imbalance in the overall picture. By letting go of those discordant pieces, we allow the puzzle of our life to come together with harmony and balance. Instead of getting stuck in a cycle of damaging relationships, let's make room for those that inspire and propel us forward. It's like sailing on a ship where each travel companion is a sail that propels us with their positive breath. By surrounding ourselves with people who uplift us, we create a favorable wind that takes us towards new and exciting directions in our journey. 10. Excessive Self-Criticism Excessive self-criticism acts as a harsh critic, scrutinizing every act with a magnifying glass, seeking imperfections where there should only be room for learning and growth. It's like carrying an unnecessary weight on your shoulders, as if every mistake were a burden threatening to crush self-esteem. Let's compare it to a garden we cultivate with our own hands. Each plant, each flower, has its own growth rhythm. Excessive self-criticism is like watering those flowers with an overdose of self-critique, expecting them to bloom instantly. Instead, we should be understanding gardeners, allowing each bud to develop at its own pace, recognizing that even the smallest flowers have their own unique beauty. Excessive self-criticism is like a storm that clouds the clear sky of our self-confidence. Instead of letting ourselves be enveloped by the storm, let's remember that every cloud has its moment and then dissipates. Treat yourself with kindness, as if you were your own shelter in the midst of the storm, acknowledging that the sun always returns after the rain. Think of life as a blank canvas, where each experience is a brushstroke contributing to the masterpiece of your existence. Excessive self-criticism is like using a brush that's too hard, leaving unnecessary marks on the canvas. By learning to treat ourselves with kindness, we choose a softer brush, allowing strokes of self-understanding and recognition to stand out in our personal artwork. Life is like a journey where each step, 
no matter how small, is a victory in itself. Excessive self-criticism is like denying the importance of those small achievements. By learning to recognize and celebrate each step, even the most modest ones, we realize that greatness often resides in the seemingly simple details of our journey. Instead of being our own relentless judge, let's be our best ally excessive self-criticism is like closing the door to compassion and self-acceptance. By opening that door, we allow the light of self-love to enter, illuminating our path with the understanding that we deserve to love ourselves as much as we love others. 11. Perpetual Excuses Perpetual excuses are like shadows that darken the light of personal responsibility. It's akin to holding an umbrella on a sunny day, avoiding direct contact with reality. Instead of taking refuge in excuses, embracing responsibility for our lives empowers us to make positive changes. Consider life as a book where each chapter is a choice that will define the plot. Perpetual excuses are like blank pages preventing us from writing our own story. By taking responsibility, we become active authors of our narrative, making decisions that shape our destiny. Think of responsibility as a lighthouse guiding our ship in the ocean of life. Perpetual excuses are like fog that obscures the view of the lighthouse. By taking responsibility, we dissipate the fog and sail with greater clarity toward our goals, aware that we are the captains of our own journey. Life is like a dance where each step is a conscious choice. Perpetual excuses are like constantly stumbling over our own feet. By taking responsibility, we improve our dance technique, finding rhythm and grace in every move, aware that each step is an opportunity to grow. Imagine life as a puzzle where each piece fits to form the complete picture. Perpetual excuses are like pieces resisting to fit, creating imbalance in the image. By taking responsibility, we find the right place for each piece, building a coherent and satisfying picture of our life. Instead of seeking refuge in excuses, let's remember that taking responsibility is not about shouldering blame but recognizing our power to make conscious decisions. It's like spreading our wings and flying, freeing ourselves from self-imposed chains, and allowing us to explore the skies of our possibilities. By taking responsibility, we become architects of our reality, building solid foundations for a future full of achievements and personal growth.